What's up guys, welcome back to the channel guys, the boy Ryan LFC back again guys, another top shelf video for you guys today. I want you guys to go and check out Cards Blog, use the coupon code Ryan LFC to get 10% off your order, everything will be done in the description. It's a perfect FIFA card for your loved one or for yourself. You can get your own picture on it, you can rate your own self, you can get a club logo and also you can get your country logo on it. It's a perfect gift card for someone who love football or your girlfriend or your boyfriend enjoy the video what's up guys welcome back to the channel guys the boy ryan lfc back again guys and another top shelf video for you guys today in this video i want to talk about darren mattox i want to talk about nico bread i want to talk about speedy very good performance by speedy last night in the usl but reggae boys fans before we get into the video, I want you guys to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and make sure you share the video. Get the message out there. One question to every single Reggae Boys fans out there watching this video. Coach Theodore Whitmore, this question is for you. What Nico Brett has done to you he cannot get a national call up. Yes. Whitmore, what Nico Brett has done to you and the Federation, he cannot get a national call up. I would love to know. This man proving goal scorer from him playing in Jamaica, Excelsior, Frasers. Proving goal score in the USL. Why he cannot get a call up? You see, the gatekeeping in a Jamaican federation, it needs to stop. You see, the crab in a barrel for our football to go forward, it needs to stop. Lego Nico Brett, what he has done to the federation that he cannot get a call up, or a Pacific person in the federation keep blocking nico bread lego the gatekeeping and play the youth what the youth has done to you guys he cannot get a national call up. i see you guys calling striker from all over the world and none of them none of them not act like nico bread a full time now the you to get a fair chance in the national team. Yes, he represents Jamaica at the under 20, under 23 level. And done him stuff. Go and check the stats. Go and do your research. This guy have a 15 goal, top goal scorer in the USL so far. And he cannot get a call in. Remember, Lamal Walker playing the USL. Speedy Williams playing the USL. Junior Flemings play on the same team as Nico Brett. But yet still, Nico Brett has outshining any USL player in the league. But guess what? Nico Brett cannot get a call up. I'm upset. And the Reggae Boys fans, you guys should upset too. Who want to know what Nico Brett can do in the national color? This guy deserves to get a fair chance in the team. Look at him stats. Go and check it back from last year, come into this year. Come on, man. What? We're only going to say Nico Brett don't fit the style of play of Coach Theodore Whitmore. Lego the youth and give the youth a chance. Free up the youth. The gatekeeper of them, free up the youth and Lego the youth. I'm dead serious. And if you guys don't let him go, I'm going to call name who blocking this guy from not playing for the national team. So may I tell you now, I know now watch a video. Free up the youth and call the youth for the national team. Good God, man. How much the youth can bear. Come on, man. Come on. Stop blackball the youth, man. Give the youth a fair chance in the team. And we judge him as the fan. And coach with more judge him as the fan, uh, as the coach. Good God, man. Anyway, guys, let's move on. Darren Mattox. Yes, 
Many of you guys see the tiger. Many of you guys see the thumbnail during my talks to get a recall. And if this is true, this is a rumor has been going around. If this is true, let me get my disclaimer out here. I have no problem with Darren Mattox. 31 year old. He has been proven in the MLS. He has been proven he's a goal scorer for the national team. Look at him record. Him record speak for itself. His stats speak for itself. Darren Mattox not even signed for a club for three months. Not even three months as yet. But yet still. If yet still is a possibility you will get called up. <laughs> oh my God, guys. This is joke, man. These are the things we're holding back over football. As I said, very good player, Darren Mattox. I have no problem with Darren Mattox, but come on. Come on. You have player out there like Nico Brett banging the goal from left to right. Up to Eve, Andre Gray. You're telling me that Javon Eats can make this team, but Nico Bird cannot make this team? Something is wrong. Something is wrong. So, Reggae Boys fans, what are you guys start on Darren Mattox coming back to the national team? What are you guys start? Are you guys happy? Are you guys would prefer Andre Gray? I think that guy has done very good since he made his debut against United still. But yet still, he cannot get a look in into the team. I don't know, Reggae Boys fans. I leave it up to you guys. And let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Now, let's talk about Speedy, one of the most improved USL player for the last several months. I impress what Speedy has bring to the table to the national team. I impress with Speedy performance last night. Very good, quality, full of touch. I will see Speedy when he play. For the Jamaican national team, especially of Anthony Grant's side of him, he looked much, much, much better. And this guy is a quality player. He just need more good midfield around him to get the best out of him. I'm going to be real with you guys. Speedy, for a good player, but for him to get to that next level. I want to see him to step out of his comfort zone. I want to see him even in the MLS or go overseas. He's the captain for him club now. But if Speedy can come out of the MLS, better play around him, we see it in the national team the last three games, quality. He have quality play around him. He take him game to the next level. But Reggae Boys fans, let me know your thoughts on these three players I talk about. It's a possibility that Darren Mattox will recall. I hope all is well with Shaman Nicholson and stuff. Okay? So thank you guys for watching. Until next time, for your boy Ryan LFC, I like to say peace out.